Druid Farm Obis Spike Factory. This strategy has been making the rounds lately. So many people have been using it, and for good reason too. It is absolutely insane late game. So let's do this, guys. All right, here we go, guys. We're here on the map, Dino Graveyard here versus TTV RT underscore Anner, and um, we're starting off with our Druid start because we're going the strategy Druid Farm and Factory today, which will be really fun because this is strategy has been making its rounds lately, guys. This is kind of like one of the strategies that has been really popular lately, and it's really hard to pull off too because the Camel Balloons can be really pesky, but we can get those camel rounds guys it is so good late game oh my gosh let me tell you it is cracked late game so that's what the plan is going to be today and looks like my opponent here is starting with their alchemist and um oban so they probably are going some ninja heli alchemist type strategy i don't know i don't know that's probably that's what i'm expecting though ninja heli alchemist maybe is that too hard of vengeance up now we'll put this out in close actually because close target, I feel like it's going to pop the least amount of balloons. And Ryan, you'd be like, why do you want to pop the least amount of balloons? That doesn't make sense. Well, the reason is I need to leak down to 70 lives here early. So leaking down 70 lives to get the max druid buff is going to be very important for me. So we are actually trying to leak here, believe it or not. And I accidentally did not get my open down in time. So it's actually going to be kind of bad for me. Let's put these guys on last actually. So they actually pop some balloons here because I did not get my open in time. So they don't have the pierce buff yet, which is not good. Admittedly, not good. But hopefully we'll be fine here and we'll survive to the next round. Oh, they actually have a farm strategy. Alchemist Ninja Farm, I guess. It's definitely Alk Ninja Farm here then. 100% it's Alk Ninja Farm. I don't know what else would be. Don't know what else would be here. All right. Hopefully we're good here. Yep, now we have the Pierce buff on our Druids and they're going to sh absolutely shred everything. Beautiful. And there's the Ninja as well. Cool, cool, cool. So I honestly feel like even though our strategy is amazing late game, if we have good farms, we might out late game Ninja Alk Farm. We could out late game them, which is crazy to think about, but I don't know. We'll see about it. Oh, that's going to be the game plan, maybe. That's my, that might be the game plan here, guys. Get some late game action going here with Mr. TTV. This increased production down. Beautiful. Send them some white balloons here. Force some defense. This will actually force some good defense on their side. Some white balloon sends. And I also need to get defense on my side here. Let's please not die. I'll get my brambles here in a second. Brambles snipe that. Yes, sir. Look at the brambles snipe. Look at the brambles go, bro. Look at the brambles go. There we go. Let's balloon boost these at them as well. It's caused some havoc because they don't have much defense down. We forced a boost. That's great. Always happy to trade a balloon boost for a boost, guys. Always happy to trade a balloon boost for a boost. It's a good trade. It's like that meme. I have a trade offer for you. All right. Get another farm down here. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. So we're actually out farming them. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, keep throwing on these brambles too. I want to throw on these brambles whenever they come off cooldown because those can be so helpful if you send like a lot of balloons or something. Those brambles, every one pops 50 balloons. So it's basically 50 lives in the back. So I basically have 131 lives, guys. If you do the math, I basically have 131 lives, which is fan freaking fantastic. So at this point, I think I actually just need to start saving up for my spike factory. I'm just, I need to get this down really early is the thing because I need to get the spike pile ro rolling. You know what I'm saying? Going into the camel rounds. Bringing this on early is going to be important. Looks like close as well here. Bigger stacks. We get white hot, and then we'll get the um, spike balls here in a little bit as well. That'll be the game plan. We need 2300 here. Hopefully, we can get it up soon so I actually get the spike balls rolling. Very important to get it up right before the end of a round because it has increased production at the start of rounds. With the, um, I think that's the smart spikes upgrade that does that. Yeah, I should be able to get it here. Look, you'll see how fast it produces at the start of round 10 here. There we go, we got it up. It's producing slow, it's producing slow, and now it produces pretty fast. That's why you want to get it up right before start of a start of a round. So you get the uh, fast production going there. Okay, this guy doesn't even have a um jitsu up yet. Guessing they they will upgrade to one, right? I will send them a rush. Because they don't have it. Yeah, we forced a farm cell, actually. That's great. I'm happy with that. We forced a farm cell there. This second spike factory in the back, which I can um upgrade if they rush me. Or a spike storm or something. They're sending me a big rush boost. All right, that was interesting. Uh, is that it? <laughs> is this, was this plan just to all out me with camos? That's funny. Okay. I, I don't. Uh, let's just kill them here. Well, that was an interesting first game. I don't think he knew Spike Storm existed there. Maybe. I don't think man knew what spike storm was, but we're good. And yeah, I'll catch you all next one. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys. Our next game here is against Mr. Kevin Gaming 64 on the map Star. So we're going to see the strategy here. I think this is actually a, strategy, a map where the strategy is actually really good on. It looks like Kevin Gaming is actually using Druid as well. Ooh, 
This will be a fun matchup. Druid versus Druid. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Start with my two Druid start. Of course, could reach on this guy just so I can reach over. And nice. Looks like he's actually going for a one Druid start, believe it or not. So I wonder if they're going the same strategy as me. I wonder if they're going the same strategy as me. It's going to be interesting. Good hard Avenge on this guy just so he's attacking a little bit faster here early. I don't want to leak any balloons, hopefully, before I get these Druid buffs up. But I probably will leak based on... Okay, actually, no. Let's just get up early here. Now I'll put this guy in last. I will have to stop equaling for a few seconds, but that's fine, I guess. It's kind of close, maybe. Actually, it's kind of close as well. Hopefully. Yeah, now I'm going to leak a lot of lives, which is the plan. That is the plan here. I want to leak a lot of lives, so then I'm hopefully getting this druid buff going. Get it on last. You can see it's kind of close. It's literally popping nothing right now. His shots are going, like, into the void. I don't get it. It's that's so funny. Like, why is it so bad on close targeting? That doesn't make sense to me, but it is what it is. He's got, he got his lightning up. Well done. Wait, why did you get your lightning up? You don't even have a speed buff. What? Kevin Gaming 64, what are you doing, my guy? You got a three life speed buff and you went for your lightning. That seems like a bit of a mistake, in my opinion. But okay, we got our whole speed buff up. So we're we're chilling on our side here. We're chilling, guys. We're chilling. Target these brambles in the very back. This guy in last as well. Nice, that's nice. Get the brambles down. And we'll start farming. Start farming here. I mean, they'll probably end up leaking lives here on like to white balloons and stuff, but I don't know. It just seems it's odd how they went for their lightning so early. Getting the lightning up in the first place slows down your farms. In the second place, you don't even have your druid leaks yet, so it just... It doesn't make sense to me. I think they might leak to white balloons here, because they don't have their speed buff on it yet, but we'll see. They might end up leaking to white balloons here, because they don't have speed buff yet on it. Let's get Druid of Wrath on our side. Keep throwing these brambles down. This guy in last, maybe? Um, No, we'll keep on first. We'll keep on first. I don't know what the best targeting is there. We should probably keep our Oban on strong as well. Okay, yeah, you can see we forced the other third tier upgrade. Normally, you don't need that much defense against um, white balloons. But since they didn't get their druid leaks early, they kind of needed to get up a bunch more. So, I mean, fair enough with me. Fine enough. We actually have the same life count, too. Look at that. Both at 62. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And by the way, guys, at this point of the video, if you guys have been watching and you enjoy the content, please let me know. Um, I would appreciate it a lot if you hit the subscribe button down below. We're trying to 100,000 subscribers this year, which is a really big goal, but I like to dream big. I like to dream big. So if you want to help me out on my journey there, do that. And hit the like button down below as well, because liking the video helps it out for the YouTube algorithm. So let's try to get a thousand likes on today's video. If we can do that, that would be amazing. But yeah, I think our farms are, our farms are actually really good here. But I, I think this is the point where I want to start saving up for my spike factory upgrades. Round 8 or so. Because I need to get that down soon. As I said before. So it's kind of close. Bigger stack. Nice. I think Kevin Gaming might have sub here. It might be Brock and Druid sub farm. So that might be why they haven't. Um, They only went for one Druid start. So we'll have to be careful against aggression here. For sure. Aggression can be kind of scary. So we'll have to be careful there. Let's put this guy in first real quick. Um, just because I want to stole this round out a little bit so I can maybe get my spike balls by the end of the round. As I said, you want to get your spike balls by the start of new rounds. Oh, uh, okay. I actually got, I got some, I got a good, decent spike pile there. Decent spike pile. Not amazing, but it's, it's better than nothing, you know? Okay, get another spike factory there. Good heart of thunder on that guy. I'm expecting a rush from Kevin Gaming. I am expecting a rush. Oh, they actually went for a farm. Went for a farm. All right. But I am behind in farms a lot, which is kind of to be expected, guys, because... Their strategy definitely outfarms mine by a lot. Okay, we forced a ballistic missile. Nice. Okay, we should be fine against that rush. That was really nothing to be scared about. There were Gucci there. And we'll, actually, it's not eco right now because I want to get this marketplace up since I already went for the bottom path upgrades and then we'll eco after I get the marketplace up. We'll be the plan. Let's get to like 1,200 eco or something. I want to get a salt eco here. I want to get a salt eco for sure. 1,200 sounds like a good a good amount for me here. These guys are strong as well. These are, they're pretty good mob defense. Just a few little druids are pretty solid mob defense too. Hopefully we hit it on the dot here for you guys. You fellas watching at home. Oh my gosh, I messed up. I messed up, dude. Dang it. I thought it was big brain there. If you saw my eco pattern, I ended the eco pattern with a green because it only added 1.4 eco instead of 1.6. Thought, it, thought I'd be higher likelihood of hitting it on the dot, but I didn't, so I am trash, basically. Get the marketplace up. Nice. So our goal is to get a monkey Wall Street, hopefully around 21 or 22. So then um, we want to get it up and still have money left over for ZMG defense, because ZMG defense with my strategy can be um, difficult. 
So that's something we're going to have to worry about. But I don't know. 1250 Eco is pretty solid. 1250 Eco is pretty solid. I'll also sell these guys for about 4,500 here. Because I'll be able to get my trees up for pretty cheap. So once I get about $8,000 on hand. There we go. Get that up. And I have a spike pile on the back as well to work for us. There we go. Trees. I don't know why I boosted, by the way. I boosted literally nothing. I was just scared. I was kind of scared, admittedly. That's why I boosted, but the boost literally did nothing against the rush. So that was <laughs> that was a bit dumb in hindsight of things. That was a bit dumb in hindsight. All right, let's get the second um, central market up here soon. All right, there we go. I need to get another spike factory in the back, though, because they rushed me. Look at that in close. The trees are basically full at this point, which is fine. Oh, uh, they actually don't have their Monkey Wall Street yet, surprisingly. This guy does not have his Monkey Wall Street yet. So they are probably going to be sending me ZMGs here. But the thing is, they won't have that much money to send ZMGs because they don't have their Monkey Wall Street. Which is good for me. Good spike balls, spike mines here, because I'm definitely expecting ZMGs here. 100% expecting ZMGs. There we go. Nice. Throw down the trees. Awesome. We're actually in a fa fantastic position here because we have our monk we're tied in farms with a much better late game strategy and my farms aren't even that bad like with the tooth with the 1250 eco here we're in a really good spot we're in a really good spot for this game awesome i definitely thought they were gonna send me a zmg and they just didn't so fair enough you know i'm fine with that just so then if he does send me camels i have a decent spike pile on the back to deal with stuff you know what i'm saying because camel balloons on these rounds i it would be an, it would be a shame if i died to camels at, at this point in the game you know what i mean it'd be a very sad day very sad day if that had happened. So they do have a slight out farm on me, but again, I'm totally fine with that at this point. I think our farms are good enough to hopefully win us this game late. I think our farms are probably good enough for that. Let's target my trees back here, by the way. Actually, do I even want to do that though? Because I want the trees to fill actually from AI. DDT should not be an issue with my loadout is the thing. DDT really should not be an issue since I have Spike Factory and that's one of the best DDT counters in the game. I'm not going to send them DDTs, by the way. Um, they can first strike micro DDTs or build up a super storm, and that's just going to put me in a worse position for late game, where I already think I'm in a winning position, so I'm not going to send them DDTs. All right, we're almost at the point, though, where we can afford my uh, banana central. I need $30,000 in hand. It looks like they're going to get theirs up. I'll be go get mine up here really soon. Again, they do have an out farm on me, but I think my farms are definitely good enough to the point where I'm in a win winning position here. All right. We're gonna need to get max stacks on my druid, on my avatar of wrath and super storm. Obviously, I don't have max stacks on those yet, but that's something that we'll focus on later. Let's get my farms up a little bit more first. Get a little bit more farms rolling here first before we do any of those shenanigans. We want always guys on strong, by the way, because DD, Zeom, uh, BAD insides are not that much of an issue. It's just the BAD layer that's gonna be the hardest part when I have super storm and stuff. BAD insides are not really. How much do I have on this? Two. Three. Okay, I don't really have that many stacks yet. Can I fit more? I really am having trouble fitting these. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I definitely should have could have placed my druid a little bit better so that I could fit these easier, but it's okay. Alright, see if they send me. They are sending me. Alright. We need up a super storm in the back. I should get our avatar wrath first. Because we don't need to deal with the insides yet. Super Storm. Boost. Maybe I go for a uh, Super Mines. Back. Come on. Boost. I need the super mines to clutch up here. Nice. Looks like we're defending. Please. Super mines. We have five stocks on that. We do have five stocks on that. Where's 
my carpet of spikes. Alright. Keep defending here. I want to micro my carpet of spikes. I don't know where I placed it. Oh, I don't have it up. I don't have a carpet of spikes up. I'm so dumb. Come on. I might have choked this dude. I don't have a carpet of spikes up. They're dead. They're dead. Oh my gosh. Dude, I choked that so hard. I didn't have a carpet of spikes that whole time. We still got the dub with a lucky rush. Wow. I almost choked that so hard. That should have been an easy win. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And with the forward, I'm like, oh, peace, lads.